What a windy day. How unpleasant, some might think. Or, what a great day to produce green energy, others will say. And that is when wind energy and wind turbines come into play. Regarding location, wind turbine clustering can be done in two ways. Onshore and offshore. Onshore applications are usually single turbines or groups of individual turbines forming wind farms. For onshore turbines, accessibility and the presence of residential areas are two factors that weigh and can eliminate a possible location. Offshore applications, on the other hand, are fixed bottom or deep water floating wind turbines. Their transportation and installation is done by ships and large-scale jack-up platforms due to their larger turbine sizes. This type of wind turbines is likely to be affected by harsher environmental conditions. Here you can see the electrical structures of the most frequently used wind converter topologies. The partial converter, or DFIG, doubly fed induction generator, where the stator of the generator is directly connected to the grid and the rotor is connected to the grid through a back-to-back -back power converter. And the full converter topology, used for IG and PMSG, permanent magnet synchronous generator, where the generator is fully decoupled from the grid through a back-to-back -back power converter. In the partial converter topology, only approximately 40% of the total turbine power passes through the converter, which allows a lower capital cost. This topology offers a power rating that goes from 1.5 to 6 megawatt. The full converter itself requires less maintenance, while offering a better grid support. The power rating goes from 0.8 to 10 megawatt. Did you know that the use of full power wind converters is increasing due to the installation of more and more offshore wind turbines? At the same time, onshore turbines with full converters are also increasing compared to DFIG based wind turbines. This makes the ratio between partial and full converters change to roughly 50-50. Let's now focus on the pros and cons of both converter topologies. On the one hand, the double-fed induction generator is mainly used on onshore wind turbines. The overall wind turbine cost is lower and can meet existing grid codes. However, maintenance is more expensive and turbine power levels are limited to a maximum of 6 MW at present. On the other hand, the permanent magnet synchronous generator can be used on onshore and offshore turbines, has an optimized system performance and is easily scalable to meet higher power level. The downside is that nacelle's weight increases as the turbine's power level increases and cost is higher than DFIG turbines. But what are the requirements for both onshore and offshore wind applications? High power density, high reliability and robustness, long lifetime and excellent system efficiency. Great news! Did you know that it is possible to meet all these requirements with Infineon modules? Infineon expects to address all of the requirements in one step by combining prime pack with standard as well as with new joining technology within a power module that is with IGBT5.XT technology. Here you can see the portfolio of 1700 volt prime pack 3 plus IGBT5.XT it extends towards higher power densities and longer lifetime. Besides IGBT5.XT Prime Pack 3 Plus, the following modules are also used in wind applications. 
Prime Pack 3 IGBT4, Econo Dual 3 IGBT4, and Econo Pack Plus IGBT4. Let's now sum up. The market can be clustered in on and offshore solutions. Onshore business represents the majority of the overall wind market. There are two important wind turbine topologies, partial converters, DFIG, and full converters. These technologies are preferred due to their flexibility and optimized cost of wind turbines. The most important requirements of wind power converters are high power density, high reliability and robustness, long lifetime, as well as high system efficiency. Infineon's Prime Pack solutions meet all wind power converter requirements. Besides IGBT 5.XT Prime Pack, Infineon's IGBT 4 chip based modules, such as Prime Pack 3, Econo Dual 3, and Econo Pack Plus, are also used in wind power converters. This video went like the wind. We hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. For more information, check out the Wind Application page at infineon.com and you can also subscribe to Infineon's newsletter for engineers.